Ellen Blair and welcome back to Studio Fowler. Today we're going to show you how to make two treats, a cocktail and a dessert that's perfect for the spring and summer. It's healthy, it's refreshing, and it's the type of thing you can eat and still feel confident in your bikini. And these are recipes actually from our friends Katrina and Karina from Tone It Up. We're going to start off with our beverage which is a sassy watermelon fresca cocktail. So ours has alcohol in it because I'm 21 now so I get to enjoy a cocktail like this. But if you want to just take the vodka out then it is a virgin drink that anyone can enjoy. But it won't be as much fun. It definitely won't be as much fun. But you guys know if you follow my Instagram or something, I love throwing tea parties and barbecues and things like that. This is going to be my go-to summer drink because it's kind of like a guilt-free indulgence. So here's what you're going to need for the sassy watermelon fresca. Four ounces of vodka, a dash of mint, three cups of watermelon, one cup of strawberries, two limes that are juiced, and a fourth of a cup of coconut water. The first thing you're gonna need is three cups of seedless watermelon, cut up and diced just like this right here. And then we are going to add this into our blender. Then you're going to need one cup of cut up strawberries. Make sure you get the green parts off of it because they taste kind of furry. No one eats the green part. I have before. Next, you need two limes that are juiced. We went ahead and prepped our lime juice, so it's all prepared in this bowl, but this is what it looks like. Hello, Rachel Ray. Next, we need one fourth of a cup of coconut water. Coconut water is great for your skin. It hydrates you from the inside out, and this is a beauty channel at the end of the day, so perfect drink. Pretty much, you're gonna be beautiful if you drink this. I could drink it just like this, like Let's I really want to. Then we are going to add our vodka. So it calls for four ounces, but you can kind of more or less eyeball it more a little bit. So we're just gonna go to four ounces and then maybe up to like eight. And then we are just going to add this into our blender. And a dash of mint. Ooh. Blend it up, Blair. All right, so first, gotta figure out how to get this top up on in here. This is a complicated blender, but we're gonna get this. Hopefully you'll know how to use yours. Turn it on. Blender, dance, blender, dance, blender, dance. Okay, turn it off. And we have pre-iced, pre-garnished mason jars. Makes everything taste better. And we're gonna taste this for you. We are, and we need straws too. Get us the pretty straws. Oh my straws. goodness, pretty straws. I'm having difficulty. I'm gonna have two straws. Oh, it just comes off. <laughs> I'm fabulous. You're taking two straws? Yeah. Why do I only get one? Oh, so we can tell it apart. It yeah, smells that's why. delicious. All right, so it's time for a taste test. Mmm. That is so delicious, you it's guys. It's good. Oh my it's goodness. It's very fruity and it has that like mint. Very refreshing. Called it. All right, so now we're moving into our raw brownies. These are amazing. They're just like a sweet, healthy power snack that you don't feel guilty when you are eating them. So all you're going to need to make these are one and a half cup of raw walnuts, two and one fourth cups of dates that are pitted, six tablespoons of almond butter, and three fourths cup of cocoa powder. To get started, you wanna take one and a half cups of raw walnuts and we're going to pulse these in a food processor till it's a fine powder. So you want kind of like a flour consistency. And by the way, these walnuts are a really great source of healthy fats. So we are just going to put the top on it, lock it in place and start pulsing. All right, so that's nice and fine. Now we're gonna add two and one fourth cups of dates. This is a good substitute for refined sugar because it's really sweet, but it's much healthier. You can just pop these in your mouth like candy. Yep. And then we are going to pulse this until it forms a paste. And you know what, guys? This takes a little while to have all of the oils released, so just stick with it and keep going and just do a little blender dance or processor dance while it's going. Next, we're going to add six tablespoons of almond butter, which is my favorite nut butter. This is very high in protein and also antioxidants. It's really good for you, and it's kind of the glue that's gonna keep this brownie together. We are going to add six tablespoons of this into the food processor and then pulse to combine. We're gonna use our gigantic 
tablespoon. How big does this look? It looks huge. Okay, so six of these. Yeah. Ah, sister action. And now we're just gonna pulse this to combine the mixture all together. Yep. Pulse dance. Pulse, 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 pulse. And the last thing we're going to add is three fourths of a cup of cocoa powder. Mm, it's gonna give us that amazing chocolatey taste. Yep, I love chocolate. And then we are going to combine all of this and you want a dough-like consistency. Okay, so that's all done pulsing. Now we're gonna lay it out on some wax paper and we're gonna form little brownies. But you can also roll them into little balls if you prefer brownie balls. If you prefer balls to squares. You sure can. So, all right. Wanna hand a spatula? Yeah. All right, so we're going, going to, to lay it all out in a big block-like <gasps> shape and then cut it into little squares. This smells so good. I know. I'm it, like dying. Look at me. So hey, you just go like this, works. and it's fine. So we are just putting this into a square and pressing it down with the back of a flat-sided spatula. Okay, you're not doing an amazing job right now. I, my side looks better than your side. Because I just fixed your side. No, this is my that side. That looks good. And it, yeah. So this is great, it's a no-bake dessert and there's no drying time, you're supposed to eat it and it's raw, like natural, rustic element. So we're just gonna enjoy it we're right We're gonna here. try it. All right, so. Oh yeah. So here they are and we are ready to taste test I them. I am so excited, they Me smell too. amazing. Okay, okay, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Very almond buttery. I was and gonna I say. I love almond butter. Mm -hmm. So we hope you guys enjoyed these treats. If you want to find out more about these recipes or any other recipes by the Tone It Up Girls, we will have them linked below. And as you can see, we just did a cooking video. We do everything from makeup and fashion and cooking and just yep. anything lifestyle. So make sure to check back every Monday for more Studio Fowler episodes. Or if you'd like to see some that we've already done, we have a spring summer essentials over here. And we have a spring summer lip lookbook over there. So make sure to check those out. All right, so we hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next Monday. Bye. Bye. Let's eat more. I know, I immediately <laughs> reached for it.